Alright, so we must have to run all the way back to the temple. We must have missed something, or I must not have uh, done something in the order that they wanted to know. Looks like we need to go find a clue to the location of it, so we must have to get some paper or pamphlet or maybe a journal. Uh, I'm not quite sure. Because there was a safe in there, if you guys remember. I walked kind of by it for just a brief moment. But there must be something else in here that we didn't run over or click on or anything of the equivalency. So we'll quickly run back over here real quick, check out what's going on. Hopefully another vehicle won't come out of nowhere, though, because that was exceedingly weird. But definitely we took care of them with a well-placed grenade. Okay, so... Nothing on that table. Oh, there we go. That explains a lot. Okay. And I guess we'll run all the way back over there, and it looks like uh, we'll get the combination for the safe really fast. About 120 meters away. Let's see here. So... Once we get that, um, I guess we'll begin the combination. Maybe going to unlock the safe. Maybe there'll be some gold bars or something in there. Uh, I'm really not quite sure, though. Alright, four guys. Are you guys ready to take care of these guys as quickly as possible? Because I am definitely ready to eradicate them. Another guy down. Two more behind them as well on that little trail back there. Alright. Well, they kind of ran away a little bit faster than I was hoping for. See, it's weird. I'm used to a lot of other games having a little bit more uh, compensation needed for longer ranges. But in this game, it's pretty much just point and shoot, which I'm still kind of getting used to. Alright, well, that guy won't be needing that anytime soon. Uh, let's see. Man, what is blocking my bullets? Must be an invisible wall or something. Or I'm just missing, which is more than likely what's going on, but I feel like my crosshair placement was pretty accurate. Oh, there's a wall there. That must have been what was going on. I was aiming a little bit lower. Okay, so I think we've taken out a majority of... There we go. Alright, I think that's actually everybody. Maybe. I still hear somebody shouting stuff out, so... Well, that's completely useless. It's always really unfortunate when you kind of have, like, your sidearm. Now, granted, they are kind of made, you know, like the Thompson in this particular case, for close to medium range. But I feel like that's also what a pistol's for. I mean, pistols are good at, you know, close range. And I feel like it's just weird. Oh. Well, that's not really what I meant to do, but... Thanks, bud. Um, we're gonna go regroup with our spotter. Granted, I don't think he did a whole lot of spotting in this particular round, but... Nonetheless, it's definitely nice to have him. I think it made our job just a wee bit easier than it probably could have been. Alright, so it looks like something over here. Brower? You were right. You see? Didn't I tell you? Hmm? Brower! Alright, come on. I cannot be the only one that thought of saving Private Ryan in that particular instance. Okay, I gotta get moving. That tank is gonna mess my day up if I don't get out of the way. Alright, so let's hope that he runs over the mine, and I'm hoping that the mine then will um, blow up the dynamite. If it doesn't, well, things could get interesting pretty quickly. But I have a sneaky suspicion that we should be okay. Wow, there's a lot of windows.
Oh, that was pretty easy. Well, that works. Whoa. Okay, well... I guess the Tiger Tank isn't as cool as everybody talks about, especially when it comes down to running over a mine, so... That's not too bad. Let's get the grenades back out. We never know if we'll need them again. It's never really a bad idea to at least try to keep them on hand. What is that noise? Oh no, this is not good. Okay, well, don't really have anything else to take care of that. We're gonna quickly run back though really fast because I believe there might be an ammo cache in one of these buildings or something and I'm really hoping there's some mines or even some dynamite again since we did use ours on that tank because I feel like I'm actually gonna really need those and I don't really want to have to deal with that thing again oh cool just what I was looking for okay so we'll get these mines back out let's see what his route is really fast though I have a sneaky suspicion that he's gonna come back down this road and if he does that might give me an idea of how he's kind of navigating around the map because I really don't want to try to shoot out the gunner and then have to deal with the amount of players that are probably going to end up coming out of the vehicle since that is a light armored vehicle but I mean at the same expense I'm sure it's going to pose a little bit of a problem okay so he's taking pretty much the exact same route that we just watched him do so this actually should be pretty easy if I just set the mine in the middle of the street I think we'll be able to kill him without really any uh, problems. I'm gonna get it up here just a little bit, just in case. Alright, now let's get back and just kind of watch him blow up, I'm hoping. Alright, moment of truth. Well, that worked out pretty easily, I guess. I'm kind of worried to get close to... Oh, I guess it won't matter. I was going to say I was going to get pretty concerned if we got too close to that. I didn't want it to, like, blow up and kill us. Uh, let's switch back over to the frag grenades. Because you never know if you'll need them. It's always good for kind of blowing up some infantry, taking care of them. All that good stuff that comes associated with it. But, nonetheless... Oh, no. Hey, it looks like they dropped off some units. Not too big of a deal, I guess we'll sit back just a little bit and kind of take care of these guys as quickly as humanly possible. Uh, there is still two more guys remaining after this guy dies. Alright, one down. Uh, that guy went into cover. That guy's actually going to die. It looks like he might get hit in the leg. Oh yeah, just what I thought. Alright, that guy's down as well. And I think there's just one more guy with an MP40 kind of on the right-hand side that I saw. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm getting drilled. All right, uh, let's take a moment and recuperate on our health because, you know, two little spots is not terrible, but I also don't want to die either, so. All right, a little too low. That was probably in the chest, so that's probably why he didn't die. Come on, bud. Peek that one more time. There we go. Okay, well, there is a little bit of a sniper position up there, but I think we're going to be okay. I don't think it's necessary for us to go up that way. Alright, this guy's dead, and then one more on the first level on the right-hand side, so... Hopefully that'll be everybody, and hopefully we won't have any more surprises trying to sneak up on us, because that would just be very, very bad. Uh, maybe too high? Nope, this is going to be right in the face. Or the neck, whatever. Okay, still another guy all the way up there. I have no idea what this dude is shooting at. Oh, we actually hit him. 
I wasn't really for sure where he was at, but we are actually going to get him right behind his box. Let's continue to move up. It's going to be Thompson time here in just a moment, considering the amount of opposition I imagine inside of this building. Where is he? Oh, what a sneaky little guy. Look at him. He's hiding behind this little... the stairs. There we go. Now the question is, is this everybody? Looks like it. Let's go open up Mr. Safe. Alright, well, we're gonna retrieve Bauer's body, because unfortunately, he ate a tank. Alright, one Bushwookie dead. There was two, I believe. I'm hoping that there was only two of them. Pretty interesting kill cam nonetheless, I guess. Okay, so... I just saw movement. Okay, so if I was a reconnaissance player, where would I be hiding? Well, they would have shot me by this point, for one. Why is this vehicle here? That's not normal. Okay, well, that's creepy, so there's another dude just chilling around somewhere. I'm not going to get in this vehicle because, one, I don't want to die. And, two, I don't really have a whole lot of practice in driving in this game, so it's probably be a lot better just to go on foot. That way, if I do happen to meet Mr. Bush Wookie number two, we can take care of him without really any issues. I have a feeling he's probably protecting the body. I think... Oh. There we go. Only reason I saw him is because of that scope glint. If that did not occur, we would have fell right into his trap. But the real question is, is when do I get a ghillie suit? Because that's kind of what I want. Out of all the things in the game, I think a ghillie suit would be pretty awesome. I think it'd be pretty fun, but... Uh, I guess we'll have to find out if we happen to get one or not. Alright, so we're going to keep moving up. We're going to go collect his body, which I'm sure has been destroyed. There we go. That was some spooky music going on there for a moment. For these guys having ghillie suits, they sure don't hide anywhere in an appropriate position.